All right, guys, got some bad news. We had a uh, we had a predator strike last night. So, unfortunately, we lost two of our chickens, and I gotta go clean up the the remnants that he left behind. The perpetrator, Peppy Le Pew, here broke into our barn through our jerry hole, which is our cat door. If you didn't see that video, we'll leave a link up there. He came in at about four and uh, knocked Jerry's bed down and then ate all of the cat food. And then after that, he thought he would have some chicken dinner. So one of the chickens is completely missing. The other one got tore up pretty bad and I gotta go clean up the mess. There's feathers and a, a body down there that I gotta clean up. And... And then I, I gotta figure out how to get Peppy Le Pew out of here. First of all, so he doesn't get another animal. Second of all, so he doesn't spray. What if he sprays our goats or something? That would that would not be good. That would not be good. So I'm gonna run down to the barn and uh, get to it. Jerry was out perusing in the middle of the night. She wasn't even in the barn. But she probably wouldn't attack the skunk anyways. I probably wouldn't want her to because then she would smell like skunk and it wouldn't be good. It's crazy that the skunk. Something was getting our eggs and there's a little blue jay's nest up above um, the rafters in the barn. There's a little blue jay's nest and you could see where they pecked holes in the eggs. So we thought that it was just the blue jays getting them. We seen some scratch marks on the coop but we couldn't tell if they were from the goats trying to get up there or if it was from an animal because we usually don't have any issues but we've always had the horses here. And so the horses haven't been here for a while. They've, they're at a, a friend's barn. Um, and we think, I, I think that the horses, you know, would have caused a stir and scared, you know, something like a skunk away. And it wouldn't have done what it did if the horses were here. But it is what it is. So we're going to get on with the cleanup and the funeral processions. Processions. We're missing two chickens, but I only there was only one body. So I don't know if he drag, drug the other one off or if it jumped the fence and ran and then he got it somewhere else. But so far we're down. We're down two birds. I'm just going to look for some remnants of, you know, feathers or something if he, if he drug it off somewhere um, so that, you know, there's not a body out here, some a body or a carcass out here somewhere. So... This is the scene of the crime. So you can see the scratch marks. You can see all the scratch marks right here. Because we usually, we just keep our eggs right here. And nothing's ever messed with them. You know, we just fill up these little trays. But you can see scratch marks all over the door, or where the eggs are. And somehow it must have got in, climbed the fence or something, and got in here. And there's feathers and and whatnot brown was a little shooken up this morning i didn't even realize it this morning so but we've still got some of our birds that, i think two of the barred rocks two of the barred rocks are the ones that went down we've got uh, brown which is our og og americana and then our lavender orpington survived our black copper moran survived so we're down to three barred rocks so and those are some of the original chickens that we had. So it's unfortunate. It's it's just a couple chickens, but they're you know characters on our farm. You know they're they're part of our farm. So sad.